Charles Krauthammer is a writer and columnist, and he joins us now. It does sound like the critique people make of Trump. Look, I know I'm in a minority here among conservatives, but I actually feel sorry for her. I do too. I agree. I have a soft spot. It could be because I was in my youth a liberal. Yes. I retain that the marshmallow deep inside my heart that I <laughs> try not to betray these days. But it's a pathetic performance. Yeah. It's sort of childish. She obviously can't accept responsibility. She's practiced at this where she says, I love in one of her riffs, she said, Am I a perfect, was I a perfect candidate? No. Did I make mistakes? Yes. As if the, these are rhetorical devices. Whoever said she was a perfect candidate? She was a terrible case. She was the worst, I mean, the worst imaginable. She had all the advantages. Why? I mean, just look at the fact that she couldn't shake the challenge of a 74-year-old socialist uh, who, who, this is the best part about Bernie Sanders, honeymoon in the Soviet Union. She couldn't shake his challenge for six months. By the way, Lizzie Graham once said about Bernie in the Soviet Union, yes, and he never left. Um, th this is, that was her challenge. She couldn't, she, and she had the DNC behind her. She complained about the DNC being against her. I mean, it's not delusional. This is losing a major, losing an election, losing something you've been after for eight years, probably 16 years, is pretty hard. And I think her handlers or somebody who cares for her should have said, don't go out there. You wait a few more years, people will mellow to you. They won't remember details. Maybe right. they'll, they'll have some affection for you, for Michael Dukakis, for Walter Mondale. These are people who weren't sort of, uh, who didn't elicit the same kind of antipathy she does because they didn't wallow in self-pity. And, and anger, and it comes off, and I understand the disappointment. For sure, she put a lot on the line and she lost, and you can understand her, her grave disappointment. She lost twice. But, twice. But this is not helpful to the Democratic Party, which needs yeah. to think through why they lost, and she's making it pretty hard to do that. The best thing that's happened to the party, and I would say probably one of the best things that Donald Trump ever did, is he put an end to the Clinton dynasty that was not helping the party, that was kind of trapped in the past. After all, why was she running? What did she stand for? The most pathetic part of the leaks were the internal memos where she kept demanding of her staff to come up with a message. What is her message? You're approaching 70 years old, you've been running for a decade, and you don't know why you're running? She never knew why she was running. It was her turn. It was like that famous moment in the late 70s when Teddy Kennedy was running for president and Roger Mudd asked him, why are you running? And he couldn't answer. The answer was, because I'm supposed to. That was what, you know, I'm supposed to, I'm entitled to, combination. But she really, she didn't care. I mean, Sanders had a message. He had a message for America. He had a political theory for all of his weirdness and, you know, the fact that socialism isn't exactly a good fit in America. But there was substance. There was none there. And I think in the end, that's sort of what defeated her. There was no real rationale for her, for her run. And the Democratic Party suffered being trapped by the Clinton machine, Clinton dominance, Nobody would rise. There were no serious candidates to challenge her, which should have happened. But she cleared the field. She had all the money. She had the official backing. She had the name. She had the association where the president looked at in some ways fondly, but at least by Democrats. Uh, and that wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Boy, what a sad, what a sad story. What a yes, sad story. I, I think we should have, I don't want to be cynical about this or but really, she ought to just let it sit for a while yeah. and, and let people appreciate her good quality. I, think that's a, I don't think that's cynical at all. I think it's a really wise piece of advice. I doubt she'll listen, but she should. Charles Crowdhammer, thank you. My pleasure.